Based from that report here, you have the Marcus transition team already trying to form um, possible cabinet members here for the incoming Marcos administration. Again, we only have two sure spots here, Sara Duterte for Education Secretary and then uh, Ben Hur Abalos for the Interior Department. But we have yet to get clarity on who will form his economic team. What do you make of the Marcos team's pace here when it comes to forming the economic team? And would you subscribe to what some analysts are saying? that they should at least consider retaining some of Duterte's economic managers? Well, as of now, I think they're still vetting. Uh, I think they have a short list of a couple of names. Uh, and uh, definitely, I'm sure that they would uh, really give this importance, uh, especially now that uh, you know we're, heading, we're having a lot of uh, headwind uh, with inflation and uh, really a slowdown in our economic activities. Um, but hopefully, uh, given uh, the week or two, they should come out with a list of uh, uh, really the designated uh, cabinet secretaries uh, because the business sector is quite anxious on, uh, on who these uh, personalities will be. Okay, sir, so some names also being circulated in addition to what uh, Jess has mentioned, Benny Laguesma and, of course, former Labor official uh, Toots Ople. This would, you know, be very much connected, of course, to the private sector because we're talking about labor laws. Uh, in which, which regard uh, do you think that you'll be able to um, communicate? What, what does the private sector need when it comes to labor laws and, and what are you hoping to have, especially as businesses start to recover? There are, you know, issues on the minimum wage hike mm -hmm. as well from both camps with workers wanting it higher, but also the, the smaller, uh, medium-sized entrepreneurs having some trouble with that. Well, the, uh, the announcement that, uh, uh, that uh, Mr. Laquesta is seriously okay. considering is good news. He has been there. Uh, he's familiar with the uh, issues uh, regarding uh, our labor sectors and uh, we welcome uh, we look forward to his uh, confirmation as secretary of labor and so goes with uh, Ms. Uh, Toots uh, Ople uh, who I think in the past has shown that uh, uh, her knowledge as far as our OFW sector. Sir, what are the key issues that you want them uh, to be tackling? Well, on the labor front side what is important is really to, to create more jobs. For uh, as of now, our unemployment rate is still very high. Mm -hmm. Primarily uh, due to the COVID-19, a lot of uh, MSMEs have closed down or uh, uh, the, uh, a lot of uh, workers have been laid off. Uh, so that is something that uh, I think the incoming uh, Secretary of Labor should really focus on and temper the uh, clamor for wage adjustments. Uh, I think it would be better uh, to give uh, more people jobs than uh, you know, uh, uh, arbitrarily increase too much our wage.